Looking back on a history where at least every family lost someone to AIDS is no easy task. But keeping their memories alive is another way of honoring the courage with which they faced the HIV AIDS pandemic. In Uganda, 50% of the AIDS victims are women. Women in Uganda, in Africa, must join the battle against AIDS. When we talk about the battle against AIDS, we must forget blame. Blame is not productive. I know that I contracted the virus from a woman, but I don't blame that woman. That woman was definitely given the virus by a man. The first time I knew HIV could be even in my home and in my bedroom was when I saw my husband sick. And of course, when the new disease comes like that, uh, they will tell you what are the signs, the symptoms. And I kept watching my husband with all these signs and symptoms. And the most visible sign and uh, the sign of HIV was the, the, the way it gives you the wasting syndrome. You will become smaller and smaller and weaker and weaker and the, the rashes on the skin were evident. So I knew there was a problem in my home. Changes must be made in our sexual behavior. For the past years, we have been so free in our sexual behavior. Adultery is a serious threat to all of us and it must stop. Adultery by either sex presents a danger to the other partner and ultimately to the whole family. If we don't work hard, the human race is going to die. You can do your part in the fight against HIV AIDS by using condoms, getting regular tests, and if found positive, being honest about your status with your partner. For more interesting stories and artifacts, go to www.historyofhiv.ug. To participate in project research, free HIV counseling and testing, contact 0751-051-866 or 0779-452-176.